Well, you see, what I do is I give away Nintendo Switches as kind of a thing on my channel. You know, give back to people who take the time to subscribe to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my business. Mm. Yeah, you can make you can make money off of YouTube. Yeah, there's this guy. He literally just buys a bunch of stuff just to make videos about it. Yeah, man, man, this guy, like, spends hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, his name's Mr. Beast. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Yep. Yep. Wait, uh, do I buy all the Nintendo? Yeah, absolutely. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Yep. Gifts. That's right. Mm hmm? Good. All right. Yeah. If you need any more information, you go ahead and just call me back, all right? Now, this is a story all about how the IRS wanted to know why I gave away a Nintendo Switch each and every month. And if you sit right there, I'll tell you all about how this is a parody of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The alligator is for uh, aesthetics. Hello and welcome to another jarring video from your boy, Alligatorio Mario. Maybe this is Crocodile. So Croco Mario? I don't know. Which one is it today? I've got an amazing tale to tell you today. You're gonna absolutely love it. I wanna first apologize for my voice. Let me tell you, man, my job is incredibly difficult at times. Um, again, if you didn't know, I am a uh, clinical dependency counselor over at a residential facility for youth that are hooked on drugs. And in doing so, sometimes uh, there's some motivation that needs to be done to get things moving. So I've lost my voice because I talk a lot. Anyways, this guy here is gonna help explain how I uh, was contacted by the IRS. You might be saying to yourself, oh, Proto, what you mean, man? You mean like IRS, IRS? You mean like Yoshi's tax fraud, IRS? Yeah, IRS, boys. Now you might be saying to yourself, okay, is this over fraud? Who is it? What is this? DSP gaming? What, what are you doing? Begging for some tax money so you don't lose your house? Your extra condo? No. And if anyone doesn't get that joke, just search up DSP taxes and you'll find out all about it. Long story short, IRS were curious why I had given away 15 Nintendo Switches. See, when you do your taxes, you might not be aware of this, but when you do your taxes, what ends up happening is that there are categories for things. Like, if you have a business, you do separate taxes than if you were just employed by someone. And in those categories, you can give away gifts, right? It makes a lot of sense. So when you buy something, it becomes a write-off. And there's different procedures under which category it falls under that that write-off will be put under. You have to forgive me for kind of the crude videography style here, but I, I'm just handy camming it to just kind of give you uh, an image of what could be write-offable by taxes. Not exactly the most fun subject, but interesting all the same. So if I were to buy a video game console or be sent some type of video game console by a company and I had to spend any type of money on it, I could end up writing it off as a tax expenditure because I need this stuff to do my job. So let's say I went out and bought the SNES Classic here. You know, what would end up happening is they would say, okay, did you use that for advertising? Did you use that to work with your job? And I would say, yeah, you know, I had to review it. I had to talk about it. I mentioned it in my video, so it's useful to my job and it's a write-off. The differences are when, say, I bought an NES Classic and I want to give the NES Classic away. So then that becomes a gift and that becomes a, a different tax bracket altogether. So I can't just be giving away everything I have. There's a limitation, there's a cap, you can't just continuously gift things away because then that could be abused. But the same token, the stuff that you actually purchase and use for the company, again, you can't just continuously purchase stuff. You say you're using, use it one time and then use it for yourself for the rest of the time, that's abusing the system. So computers and office stuff, like chairs and things like that, all of that stuff falls under an entirely different bracket because there is degradation involved where 
over time, this object is not as useful as it once was, therefore the value is decreased than what it originally was. So those are completely different as well. So, but, you know, it's way better to continuously buy new things if you're having a negative tax year. Say, you're just making tons of money, tons of money, tons of money, you gotta get rid of this money. Buy yourself a new computer. $2,000 new computer, nice fat write-off, you get about five, $600 back from that. So that's really good. Art falls under a whole different thing. Again, this whole space in here, this whole office space is considered taxable because this is what I do business at. From everything in here can be used for a business expense because I'm showing it currently on a video and you can see it's measurements, it's dimensions, and then when you claim that on taxes, you can get that back. So again, not the most exciting subject, but when we're talking about doing giveaways for things, which I currently do, I'm pretty sure currently on Patreon, I have one of these as a potential prize for a winner in a giveaway, which is just absolutely awesome, man. I, I love to do it. I love to give back to my fans. So when I buy things, I always try to buy them objectively with a use and a value, even to something so silly as a hat. Yeah, that's a decoration right now, but you know, it could be used in the future as something that I'm recording a video with, and look, it's part of my costume. So it's a ride offable. And it's really important that you guys out there, that you guys, you, out there know the differences here because if you're going to be a streamer or a YouTuber and you're going to set up your own business because I have my own company Proto Mario LLC it's it's a company it's a media company then you can actually set up a business and you can write off all this stuff so instead of going broke and never having any money and always spending money on video games and this that and the other you're not doing that you're able to write it all off so again I apologize for the crude video tyraphy style here. I apologize for my voice. Again, I'm having issues. I'm about to lose my voice, but I thought it was important to make this video. So what do you guys think? You go ahead and uh, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the rest of the video. Uh, 250 to $300 write-offs consistently over and over again. The same exact one seems to frock a list off, check a list off, where they just ask you something. So I wasn't like pulled into some government office in a room with no pictures or anything with some guy in a suit grilling me over it. It was just literally a phone call asking me about a few of my purchases. I find it incredibly funny that the Nintendo Switch one was one of the top ones because this guy seems to have uh, done some of his homework on it and he knew exactly what it was. He didn't make mention that he had a kit or anything. He said he had looked it up and it was some type of game console. So it's quite funny that they were kind of looking at me leeriously like, why are you buying 15 Nintendo Switches a year just to give them away? Like they were thinking I was like laundering money or something or investing money in something. I don't know. Because there's ways that you can do stuff like that. Like if you're, uh, if you're doing some hilarious stuff, right? You're doing some not so good things. You can go and buy a bunch of big ticket items and then return them and get fresh money if it makes sense. I don't want to give any ideas to anyone, but you know, um, money makes the world go round. That's how people work. So after that wonderful conversation, they just let it be and, and that's that. I mean, there's not really anything super exciting about it other than the fact that I have really never been contacted by the IRS except for one other time and there was just a verification discrepancy that they wanted me to do. I've had to go and speak to the IRS personally myself for college and dealing with college funds and loans and things like that just never anything with a video game console. Pretty crazy huh? Have you guys ever had to deal with the US government before? And if so, what were the circumstances? You let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your feedback on this. And uh, Croco Mario is signing out. So uh, I don't know what I should do with this bad boy, but uh, I mean, he's a, he's a real snapper. He's gonna snap back. Do you guys have any ideas? Should him and Sharko Mario have a duet, uh, uh, a duel of the ages, an unstoppable object meeting an immovable force? Or did I have that backwards? Well, you can leave that in the comments too anyways. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. I really appreciate it if you click subscribe. And my friend here would really like it if you click that like button and share the video. I mean, you can turn alerts on. You can follow me on Twitter, Discord, all the social medias. And, of course, support me on Patreon to win some of those Nintendo Switches and other game consoles I give away. Uh, let's have the IRS call me a bunch of times. I wonder if Mr. Beast has to deal with this stuff. Yeah, yeah probably. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, good gaming. God bless. And crock out.